So welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to speak about 50-50 in relationships. I'll see you after the intro. So greetings, welcome back. My name is Jay. I'm from Karnak Alistics, where we learn together and we grow together in the sight of God. So as I mentioned, I'm going to be speaking about 50-50 in relationships. So, first of all, let me just let you know that there's a massive hurricane heading towards London. So, if you hear some battering of um, uh, sounds in the background, it's um, up in a penthouse where I'm, I'm staying. It's really kind of loud. Anyway, don't worry about it. I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine. So, just <laughs> you know, it's, um, it's, it's been really peculiar because for the last couple of videos, I've been doing... Um, videos based on love and relationships. It's just what I've been called to. As, as you know, you guys, I get pulled by spirit to talk about certain subjects. Now, it could be quite spiritual, but it could be really, my pocket's doing this, doing my nut here, look at it. Anyway, um, it, could be, it could be quite spiritual, or it could be about relationships, or it could be terror, it could be anything. But each of them, let me just let you know that each of them has a, a core to it all, and it's about our own, our own ability to take back our own power and also about our spiritual presence and our own sense of worth. So one of the big things I just wanted to say why I'm kind of recording this video today because I was pulled to do this video. I just kept on, I kept on hearing Beyonce's song, 50-50 in relationships. It kept on playing in my mind and I know that spirit would egg me on to do a video. So first of all, and also equally, that since I've been doing these videos, there's strange shit been going on going on in this house, in this penthouse. It's really peculiar. It's it just is like weird noises now and it's not the storm. Um, but it's not necessarily bad from what spirit has been telling me. It's a good thing. Um, so yeah, as you may know, many of my guys have disappeared and they've reappeared again. They're, they're back again. So March is a big, big shift for me and I'm embracing it. God, I'm so busy in March. It's unreal. But anyway, let's, that's another story. Let me talk about 50-50 relationships. So what is 50-50 in a relationship? What is it? Is it emotional? Is it um, sexual? Is it financial? Is it um, the way you should be? The, the place of state? You know, there is no club, there is no um, actual kind of like way to say what it actually is or how you can measure 50 50 in anything. Personally, um, from what Spirit showed me, it's about us being quite content with how the other partner is. So if I'm in a relationship and I'm with somebody and I'm emotionally giving my love to this person and I am showing them the attention, I'm holding hands because that's what they want. Because to be honest, I'm, even though I'm an emotional guy, um, I'm in my past and my recent partner saw that. Um, it's not, I'm not one big on holding hands in public. Um, but I've got better, I got much better, and I'm embracing my shift and my change. But really, I always was when I was younger. I don't know, as I got older, I think I turned into my dad. Um, so I've become more mindful that this is what my partner, or who I'm with, wants from me. And so in that sense, I'll go the extra mile. With me, I like a lot of hugs, I like, I like to be um, shown affection. So that is another key thing for me, why, and someone should show that aspect within a relationship. Now, there is no measuring. You don't have a score chart, yeah, that you go through the date and you mark off what you've done for the partner and they mark off what they've done for you. And then that's, the, that's your 50-50 tally for the date. It doesn't work like that. The reality is, it's like, it could be for the fact that some people may go that one relationship is really one-sided. But to the part, to the partner, or to them two, that's how it is. But in in reality, when you got an emotional 50-50, it's about giving equally. Yeah, one person may be more um, emotionally driven, maybe more um, 
assertive with their emotions and the other person may be more receptive and just be there. That's 50-50 in a relationship. If someone is, is financial, that means literally getting a piece of paper, a pen or a phone and literally dividing the house into um, what you need to pay for. Because a lot of arguments come from a lack of financial support and others not giving the support. So bear that in mind. Um, the other aspect of kind of like being there, being available, emotionally available, is that the partner wants you to be emotionally available, wants you to share and compare and be with. And again, that someone's body more open and the other's not. So long as it works. If you're both open and you both like to share, so that, that's banging. You, you crack on with that because it long as that you both feel um, that you're feeling you're getting what you need from the relationship and your needs are met. Importantly, I have to stress that communication is key. Now, as, as you know, the last videos I've done was about red flags in a relationship. The other one was about ending of a relationship and being mindful of. I've always tried to keep a positive spin, despite how dark the videos may seem. Um, but recently, and even just doing a reading today, working with someone who is going for a massive breakup and it seems to be manifested around me left, left right and center. But I can be in that space. So one of the big things I was pointing out was that there must be a, in a relationship, was it 50-50? No, I'd done it all. It was mainly me and I paid for this, I paid for that. Um, they weren't emotionally available. I was emotionally available. And I goes, but why are you wanting to hold on to them? Why you wanted to be with them still? Um, maybe because I'm lonely. That's different. That's not you loving them. You know, you, these people, or people who hold on to people who don't give 50-50 relationships, but they need to let them go because for some reason, your partner needs to go and find someone they can find that balance with. Sometimes, not all relationships are 50-50. Sometimes, in a relationship, they want one person to be more dominant or more um, like 70-30 or 90-10 in a relationship. That's totally down to you, you know, whatever your floats your boat. But then you've got some who want that 50-50 in the relationship. So it's important that you ascertain and find out what it is that is key to help you move forward and strive in order to be a successful relationship. You know what? I honestly believe anybody you meet is a potential of going the distance, yeah? If there's an attraction and communication, it's how much you put into it and how much you want to stretch to get past it. I remember speaking, and yeah, I remember speaking to an old couple. They must have been celebrating their 60th wedding anniversary. It was a friend's mind, friend, friend's mind, a friend's grand parents um and he was say, and she they were saying i was like what's the success of your relationship and they just laughed and it goes um communication <laughs> you know communication i said what do you mean by communication and i looked at me like you're an idiot and i go <laughs> i said well what do you mean by communication and i go and then one thing as my parents said obviously because my mother my mother went to give for 50 years was that they never go to bed angry with each other. Second thing is, is that um, they said to me, these, this couple, that we are not afraid to tell each other how we feel. And, um, and we, when in a relationship, they say too many young kids these days give up on relationships. A hurdle comes, oh, let's jump into bed with somebody else or let's sleep around with this person. Uh, and it goes, all this is, is that they lose in a sacred, um, um, the sacred tool that God gave us, and that's love making, you know. And they said that that was even today. I know they still make love. That was a bit that hit me like a like, anyway. Ain't going there. So um, it is what it is, you know. <laughs> um, it's tough. It is tough, and and I mean it's tough. The relationship stuff. It's tough that you we all seem to think that relationships are uphill struggles when adding to the day they're not 
they are key things that have potential for all of us to um, find that um, that twin flame or that soulmate to make us be happy and to find our true self. So I hope that's helped. It's short and sweet, basically. Um, I wanted to put this down. Maybe they will stop singing that song in my head um, as it's disappearing out of my head now, which is really good. So people, I'll see you on the next video and look after yourself. Stay blessed and God bless and namaste.